How y'all doing today? It's another beautiful day in Texas. A storm is rolling in. Wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Before we get started, I wanted to win your subscription. Or maybe you're already subscribed, that's even better. But I normally don't subscribe to random people's channels without learning something first, so here you go. Irons are hot, because I burnt myself this morning. Like grandma always said, rip your skin, not your clothes, your skin will heal. So there you go. Hopefully that wins your subscription. Today, we are going to be talking about something that the global elites want us, peons, us peasantry, to believe wholeheartedly in and start participating in. So let's get into that today. But before we do, if you want to support what we do here on the Texas Boys channel, go check out thetexasboys.com to go pick up some amazing products. It's kinda, you kill two birds with one stone, you support us and then you support somebody else in our community. So it's kinda win, win, win. And then y'all end up supporting us and a local family and then we get to make more content like this because as you know, this content here on YouTube is free. Let's get right on into it. Tastes just like real meat, Beetle Burgers, to hit mass production to help feed the world. I am so excited, y'all, because, I mean, this is how we are going to end, first of all, the climate crisis, and then on top of that, world hunger. Eating bugs and living in a pod, the globalists and freaks in the left-wing media are trying to convince people to eat bugs. Also in the right-wing media, but I just wanted to say, I am the messenger, I am the newsboy, and I just shoot straight. I'm right down the middle, I'm not left, I'm not right, I'm not pro-Trump, I'm not pro-Biden. There you go. That's why YouTube hates my guts. Eating bugs is degrading and that's why elites are pushing them as sustainable sources of protein for the peasants. Which are us. Isn't it fun being a peasant, y'all? Mixed with sugar, the beetles supposedly taste just like real meat. They could also become alternatives to sausages or chicken nuggets, researchers say. Crikey. Because as you know, if you sprinkle sugar on anything, we as Americans are retarded enough to eat it. So, great. Just in case your chicken nuggets at McDonald's weren't already unhealthy sludge paste, enough, you are going to be able to be able to get a cricket nugget and, or a beetle nugget and your social credit score will, of course, go to the moon in a good way, I mean. And then you will probably pay, they'll try to make it so it'll be a couple bucks less. So you save money too. So it's like a win-win. But if you eat that bad, disgusting, dirty chicken sludge nugget, which is already terrible for you, your social credit score will drop to the ground and you will be limited on how many you can buy of them and then also they will cost double the amount. So you might be saying, so what do you do? You just don't buy fast food. Shocker, wow, oh my goodness, how, that's so hard. To some people that is hard, but it's not that hard. You just cook your own food for yourself and you save a lot of money. Fast food is really expensive, y'all. The article goes on. Beetle burgers could soon be helping to feed the world according to the new research. The creepy crawly larvae, better known as mealworms, could act as meat alternatives to elevate hunger worldwide. The process uses a fraction of the land and water and emits a smaller carbon footprint in comparison of traditional farming. Wow, shocker, they're raising bugs instead of cattle and stuff. This is so great and I mean, I get hungry just thinking about a beetle burger. To make this a reality, French biotech company Winescent is planning a global network of insect farms, including nurseries and slaughterhouses. So what, are you gonna like gas them, the bugs, I guess, to kill them, or I, I don't know. A pilot plan has already been set up at Dole, France. We are in full control of the chain of production. Well, duh, because we are the consumers of food and we buy food, and this is why a lot of us need to start growing their own stinking food. So that's why us as homesteaders and Lord willing people watching this are starting moving towards very quickly is just growing your own food. Will you be 100% self-sufficient? No, but as a big community or as a farm community, yes, you can be 100% self-sufficient. 
but you will sadly be reliant on your people in the community, which has pros and cons. That gives us strength in terms of quality, security, and safety, says Benjamin Armagen, General Major of Mayan Scent, according to a statement from SWNS. Robot arms and automated conveyor belts transport stacks of, of red trays in every direction. They are filled with billions of beetle larvae. The dried crickets are more than 50% protein and rich in fiber and fats as well. Oh man, I'm drooling right now. They have to be turned into protein powder shakes, burgers, cereal bars, and even cooking oils at a fraction of the environmental cost of traditional farming. For every one kilogram, whatever the heck that is, of protein, Lion Scent uses 98% less and eliminates, this is all I would like to say supposedly, here, 40 times less carbon than beef. <laughs> if cows were actually bad for the environment. It also uses 40 times less water than pork production. The global elites are pushing for peasants to eat bugs, weeds, and synthetic meat because bugs consume fewer resources than traditional livestock. And they're also just way more disgusting and way more toxic for you. Last year, the World Economic Forum promoted the EU's plan to, to use mealworms in food in their bid to reduce meat consumption because those disgusting peasants out there that eat that dirty, nasty, CO2-emitting beef, how dare they do that? Livestock around the world is responsible for 14.5% of all greenhouse gas emissions. Oh no, we're gonna die, y'all. They're like, they're just tooting up a storm out there. Oh my goodness. All these people that like write the articles and these scientists are just, no longer can say it because of Newspeak, but they're pretty dumb and uh, they've never been around a actual farm, let alone an actual living cow. So these guys are just super stupid just to say like cows are permitting CO2 and not like there's, okay, say they are, okay, whatever, they are, they fart and whatever. Well, you know, trees need CO2 to live. I mean, so many plants need CO2 to live. So if you go eliminating all the CO2, we gonna die. The need for land, whether for grazing animals or growing crops to feed animals is the single greatest driver of deforestation with major consequences for biodiversity loss, the paper says. All right, real quick. I need to be real serious with you all about this deforestation thing. It is a real thing. You wanna see something here? Look at all this deforestation. All of that, all that, I mean, uh, uh, you see that? It's like suburban, millions of people stacked on top of each other, Metroplex uh, area there. Um, I know it, it, it looks like it's a f beautiful, awesome forest that God created. It's not that. That is deforestation and um, uh, yeah, I wish it was a bug farm. <laughs> or a solar field or these energy uh, making f these free energy uh, sources that make energy and kill whales I mean I mean help the planet and stuff yeah cool great y'all it's just absolutely so dumb like what they can say in the news and in our faces just straight up in our faces and get away with it is so ludicrous and it's so silly that anybody would think different that they're just not out of their mind like they're absolutely insane they want us to eat bugs are you crazy and i get in other countries they eat bugs and it's a delicacy i'm an american i raise cattle i raise chickens i raise ducks i have fruit trees i have gardens I don't need no stinking bugs. You're gonna have some crazy people. Oh, if you were in a survival situation, you wanna eat bugs. If I was starving, I would eat a lot of stinking stuff and I probably would eat some bugs. Is that gonna sustain me for a length of time? Probably not. I would definitely not be relying on eating pure bugs, but if it came down to it, I just might. It's uh, pretty crazy what people will do when uh, the whole hunger thing moves on in. But anyway, y'all, that is the article for today. Thank y'all so much. Let's talk in the comment section down below. What do y'all think about 
the beetle burgers, the beetle food, the bug food. Um, are you gonna be eating the bug food? Are you going to be fine with these globalists mocking us in the face and saying, ha ha ha, you peasants down there way below us. The real thing, the thing is, is that there are billions of us and only a couple hundred of them at, at, at most. <laughs> and uh, pretty easily we could just go like, bloop. <laughs> but the only way to make that happen is to keep talking about the stuff, keep spreading the word. And you know, just like the Beyond Beef, when it's fully stocked in the, in the supermarkets and stuff, don't buy it. Let it rot there. It won't rot, but let it sit there. Let it, even if it's half the price, don't touch it. Don't look at it, ignore it, and keep on buying local food. Support your local farmers. Stop supporting, stop supporting these companies. Easy as that. Don't buy, don't buy this bug disgustingness, you know? And I know people are gonna crack on vegans and stuff. Dude, the vegans aren't, the legit vegans are super not happy with this synthetic food stuff. They're not, legit vegans aren't. There's some weird vegans that probably are gonna be like, yeah, this is all, no. Real vegans are gonna be like, that's disgusting. That is really, really, really bad for you. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching today's video. And hopefully you learned something here and hopefully it was valuable to you and hopefully you might have got a laugh or something. But anyway, y'all, love y'all so much. And if you want to support us, remember texasboys.com. There is a storm and a half rolling in right now. Also, Homestead content is coming up. The Lord is doing some crazy stuff at the Homestead, so I'm gonna have to make some Homestead videos. But anyway, bye-bye.